For a soccer fan, soccer is not just a sport, it's more like a religion. For a soccer player, soccer is more than a religion, it's like a full-blown obsession. On this hallowed turf, where soccer greats across the ages have come to prove their mettle, 18 young men from a small local soccer club came to earn their passage into manhood. Sakata is the Kiswahili word meaning to dance. Safaricom developed this initiative for a variety of reasons. I think when we looked at football, we were looking at bringing back the passion for the sport or taking up the passion for the sport, basically to the youth. If you look at our age group, it was also quite targeted from to a youth age group. Um, what we recognise is that we've got a lot of heroes in the sport who don't get a lot of recognition, yet people who are passionate about football do recognise these heroes who have been over the years. So what we want to do is to also bring these legendary heroes to Sakata Ball, which will give hope to the youth and make them you know, have that aspiration to get to the stage that these people and possibly go further, facilitated by Safari Kong. Starting from the grassroots, the tournament painstakingly singled out nine of Kenya's finest youth teams with one team representing each region. Takwa FC, representing the central and eastern region, Finch Secondary, representing the Rift Valley region, Redeemed High School, representing the coastal region, Bondo Rangers, representing Nyanza region, Bukembe Youth Academy, representing Western Region, and Miley Saba, representing Nairobi Region. We worked with a very good partner, who's Ligidogo. Ligidogo do work with grassroots teams, and therefore we did them, we did a whole panel, we had a whole selection process, and they seemed to be able to target the grassroots very well. We toured six regions in the country. We had about 1,200 teams taking part in the whole tournament. That's uh, over 20,000 players actually took part in, in, in Sakata Ball. So that was beyond what we expected. Then furthermore is that um, the kind of talent that we unearthed was, again, way beyond our expectations. So it fitted in very well with what we wanted to do. It actually went beyond what we hoped to achieve. Each regional champion was allowed to scout additional players from the other teams at the regional to beef up their squads for the final showdown at the national finals. Apart from playing the games, each team that participated was taken through the life skill sessions to help each individual player with their lives. Nairobi City Stadium set the stage for the first ever Safaricom Sakata Ball National Final. Many of the teams were playing at the National Final for the first time. We are being watched as underdogs. For the teams, this was the culmination of a four-month journey to live their dreams. Their previous victories now meant nothing as the struggle for the title of national champion unfolded. The final showdown is between Bukemba FC and Bondo Rangers. The match ends with a nail-biting penalty shootout after neither team can best the other in open play. The score is 3-0 and a relatively unknown club from Western Kenya are crowned the 2010 Sakata Ball Champions. Unaona sisi tulikuwa tukitrain kila wiki mara mbili. Na kwa hivyo tulikuwa tumechipanga vilivyo.
pesa ambayo tumechukua sasa ninaona wao vijana wangu wana hamu ya kucheza katika kiwango cha juu. Juna shukuru sana Farikom. Tuna exposure makojesi wengi wamekuwa hapo premium ni nini maanda 20 na ende Libya iko shua mapleya wengi wanaenda kutamba huko. Now some of these players actually went on to be picked by Kenya Premier League side. One of the players was actually called up to the senior Harambe Stars team. Is a player from Isiolo who would have known that there's a footballer in Isiolo. This is the kind of success story that Sakata is. It's actually an incredible story in that it's giving those people out there a chance to be seen and recognized, a chance they would not have gotten otherwise.